It's clear that the market is off the double-digit growth that they've seen the last number of years, but still at 7%, which is the consensus growth this year, that's still one of the one of the best growth around the world, and it's the largest growth market in the world. So from that standpoint, uh, we're very encouraged. We're actually uh, opening new plants because we're out of capacity, and part of it is because of the sales success that we're having in the marketplace. So we're adding new capacity with these new products in new segments that we haven't been in before here in China. Two or three years ago, you would have said that this is a market where the majority of our customers sat in the back of the car. There's a definite shift that we can see today where people really want to start to enjoy the fun of driving a vehicle and the technology that's in this car. The combination of the lightweight technology of the of the uh, aluminium architecture together with the powertrain gives you an absolutely thrilling driving experience. So we think by bringing this contemporary design to China at this point in time, we will really appeal to people who want to drive the car as well as those who want to be driven. But we do see the uh, premium segments that got impacted a little bit. Um, the economy slowing down will result in some kind of a slowing down of the uh, premium uh, uh, segments. Uh, we see like you know BMW actually uh, started uh, uh, decreasing a little bit. Uh, and uh, the Audi and, and Mercedes had to grow, grow much slower than their previous years. So I think that is actually a, a sign of the uh, economy issues. We think new energy vehicles have a very, very strong position for the future in this marketplace. The government is very clear that they are going to reduce the CO2 of most vehicles that are coming into the market in the years ahead. And of course, people still want to have the flexibility that they've always desired in the past. So having our first plug-in hybrid technology from the i8 and available in the marketplace in the uh, later part of this year. And over time, we will bring plug-in hybrids across the whole range of BMW products from the 3 Series to the 5 Series to the 7 Series. This two, three years, they launched a lot of SUV models uh, overwhelming basically a, a lot more than the uh, you know overseas car makers so that's why you know in the SUV sector so far the local car makers market share is increasing uh, we we'll see but this is uh, probably temporary because you will see a lot of these uh, like Ford and Toyota they are launching more and more SUV products in the future and more importantly their product lineup will start to lower to a uh, uh, more competitive pricing positioning.